Hello everyone. Today we will learn to merge different graphs or multiple graphs in Unity. So here I have some XRD patterns. We will first plot them. For this, we will select this and plot. I have already prepared some templates. To prepare a template, what you have to do is you have to prepare first a single graph and then save, it as, save the template. For this, first we will prepare this graph. The axis at the top as well as right can be obtained by clicking the grids and additional lines opposite, both on horizontal and vertical axis. There you can have the right and top axis. Now we will change the font of x and y axis. X and y axis. I'll change this to Times New Roman. This is what I prefer. You can change it to any other font as you wish. Similarly, for bottom, we'll change it to Times New Roman. Slightly higher font size so that it is visible if when we are merging. Once we merge this particular graphs, it should be visible, and that's the reason I'm having. I'm trying to get a bigger or larger font size. Now we will arrange this particular scale. I will have it from 10 to 80 so that complete range can be achieved from 0 to 1000 and we will see here. So this is the final XRD plot but before that we need to have the X and Y, X and y axis labels that is uh, the titles for here we can have uh, these titles. Okay. Here the X and Y axis titles can be seen. Here we can change it here. Or what we can do is we can right click, go to properties, and here we can change it. Uh, for XRD, it is 2 data. So we can have, we can type Q, Q, on C in symbol, use the theta, and same degrees. So Modifications, all the modifications relating to the font, say font size, font color, and font can be done here in this particular uh, window. So here we have, and the y axis is here we can have intensity, intensity of the peaks. Intensity in arbitrary units, so that's a dot u. Fold for say times zero one size thirty six. Bold. Okay. So here we have our first graph, and we can save this particular graph as a template. For this, go to file, save template as. Once you have save template as, you can save it as any of the templates. I already have a template named XRD, so I won't be saving this, but I will be using other graphs to, you know, I will plot other graphs using this particular template, already saved template. So for to open this template, go to open template, this is XRD.OTPU, that is a template file, graph template, here we have a graph template, now we will open our second pattern. Here we have a second pattern. Just we need to change your uh, arrange for have the axis, proper axis. For this, that from 10 to 80, similar axis that we had earlier. And here 0 to 5000. So here we have a plot. Instantly we can have our plots by just using the template, templates. We will have two more. for a video. So the scale should be from 10 to 8. 
and the vertical axis from zero to three thousand. Now the third, oh sorry, the fourth. That is once again we will have the fourth, and we can have it here. Using template, you just need to add the data to the template, and you can use it directly. So it's it becomes much easier to put similar data using the templates. So here, what we can see is we have four plots: graph one, two, three, four. And now we will merge these four XRD patterns in a single file or single plot. So for this, here we have to go to Merge selected graph window into one graph. This is particular symbol that we can see here. Just by clicking here, what we can get is we can get this kind of window. Here in this particular window, we can see all the graphs are arranged side by side, and the sequence in which they are arranged, that is graph one, is here. We can see it becomes highlighted here. Graph two is the next. Graph three is the third. And graph four is a fourth. So even we can rearrange them according to our need, and we can have a single plot. Now we can see there are differences, or uh, they are separated by some distance. So what we can do is the gap between them can be arranged. We can arrange the gap, or we can uh, modify the gap. I will modify the horizontal gap. I will increase the gap a bit, and the vertical gap is in given four. Was zero, but now okay, the vertical gap. I'll change this to ten. Let's see what happens. Okay, vertical gap increased. We don't need the vertical gap to be so high, but we need this particular gap. That is, uh, okay. We will first have this portrait. Now oh, it changes. Okay, this is looks good. We will use this particular template, but they are more separated here. So to remove this left margin, top margin, bottom margin, we have all this. Okay. Once we have all the data arranged as we need it, we'll click on OK. And here we have our merge plot. Still, what we can see is we can see multiple graphs. That is the distance between these graphs is much higher. So what we can do is we can shift them a bit closer by just clicking the graphs and making them closer. Make sure that they are not merged or they are not into one another, and they look good. So this is the plot that we can see. We merged all the four XRD graphs, and now what you need to do is you need to click right. Fit layers to page or fit page to layers. We will do fit layers to page. Once we do this, click OK. And here we can see all the graphs have are fitted to this particular page. We can if do other thing that is pages to lay pages to layers. Here we can see what we can what we get is. This is also good. So in this way, we have merged different multiple graphs into a single graph or single plot using merge option here, merge selected graphs window into one graph. So thank you for watching this video, and also subscribe our channel to watch more such videos. Thank you.